A school in West Valley City nearly lost one of its most popular and beloved members this weekend. Now the school is rallying together to help their therapy dog get back on his feet. News specialist Ashton Goodell filed this story before she was moved to developing news. She does another Banjo's on the mend and getting a lot of attention. His vet says he went into shock last night when he broke his leg, and today he's a little groggy, but likely to make a full recovery. So that's where most of his wounds are. Most of his trauma appeared to be um, to his right front leg um, because he wasn't able to put any weight on the leg, and he had um, pretty significant wounds to the bottom part of his leg. Okay, bye, guys. Banjo's a therapy dog. He provides support to kids and teens with anxiety, stress, and other psychological issues at the Roots Charter School. We have students who, who are high anxiety, and they'll come and find me, and they'll say, can I just take Banjo for a walk, or can I, can I spend some time with Banjo? We have kids with anger management issues, and, and if they can just sit for a minute and cool off with Banjo close to them, it helps a ton. The school takes in at-risk kids who might otherwise drop out. Oh, you're good. The students take part in the care of the animals at the one-of-a-kind farm school, which gives them a sense of responsibility and a desire to show up every day. But now that Banjo is laid up for the next four to six weeks, the school's principal says the accident is going to worry students. It's hard for a lot of the kids to understand why they didn't stop. Banjo's at home resting, surrounded by his favorite people. But nobody quite knows how to break it to him that he won't be going to school on Monday. He's... He's an amazing dog, and he's definitely worth whatever it takes to get him back. Ashton Goodell, KSL 5 News. The vet expects Banjo to get back on his feet soon, but the collision ended up costing close to $5,000, and it's unclear whether the Golden Doodle will need surgery. The school has set up a GoFundMe page, which we have a link to on our website on, under this story. Teachers are often